indie game fans, so I've covered the pixel art indie games of E3 2019, but on top of those, we have many great non-pixel art games as well, so here are 10 more upcoming indie games from E3 2019. Totally Reliable Delivery Service as a physics-y ragdoll game about making deliveries using odd machines and vehicles in order to make the delivery safely and on time. This is one of an increasing number of upcoming delivery service based games, with this title having more in common with Human Fall Flat as compared to something like Moving Out, which shares more in common with Overcooked. The floppy, ragdoll shenanigans look prime for hilarity, and this should be out pretty soon by summer 2019. Lucifer Within Us is a detective murder mystery about alternate timelines and demons, invoking a little bit of the feel of the sexy brutal. Fling to the Finish is a co-op racing game where you are tethered to your partner and interestingly enough, share a controller. Co-op games are always fun and having to maneuver the tether looks like a fun challenge. StarCrossed is a co-op arcade action game with a magical girl theme where you have to coordinate with your partner to destroy enemies. Very beautiful art. Superliminal is a puzzle game that plays with perspective, since grabbing items from where they are further away locks them into being smaller. I like optical illusions and try to visit trick eye museums when I am on holiday, so this is totally my gem.
Rawman is one weird game and is one example of why I love indie games. Think Splatoon crossed with Tony Hawk. With the aesthetics of Mount Your Friends, and you'll get an idea of what this multiplayer action game is about. Ridiculous, funny, and looks like fun. Now I had to do a little bit of research on Firefly Studios, the developer of Stronghold Warlords, which is a British developer with a 20 year history best known for the Stronghold Crusader series. However, they seem to have a relatively modest team of about 30 people, so I guess that qualifies them as indie? Regardless, beautiful looking game and something a little different for the series. If you saw what was, what is, and what would be. If you knew how it ends. Would you change it? Could you make the hard decisions? And would you be strong enough to fight? Chris Tales absolutely wowed me when I saw the trailer, which is a love letter to classic JRPGs, fantastic art style, a stylish UI, and hopefully great turn-based combat. If you learn from the past and act in the present, you can rewrite the future. As we all know, reaching the Red Planet was not humanity's greatest achievement. Transferring the complexity of the human mind to machines was. So they can succeed where we fail. So they can build us a home on that distant, dusty rock. Today, Amy reaches Mars and begins their mission. Amy, are you with us? Of course, I'm with you, Houston. Per Espera is a base builder with a narrative thread about terraforming Mars. Beautiful, minimalist interface which I love the look of. Unexplored 2 is the follow-up to the 2017 roguelite dungeon crawler Unexplored and marks a distinct upgrade in art style. I quite liked the original and noted that its procedural generation engine was different from your standard product and was very impressive tech-wise. Unfortunately, due to the look, I don't think it got as much attention as it deserved, which should not be a problem with the sequel. This is now available through something called Open Access on Fig, so check it out there. 
For more upcoming indie games, check out the previous video or click on the recommended playlist and I will see you after the jump.